public support for agricultural research played a huge role in the agricultural development of the United States and the success of our food system in feeding our larger public uh, significantly better than previously at lower real cost of food. Late in the 1970s, the U.S. Congress started to uh, reduce its commitment to investing in agricultural research. And in fact, uh, as we move forward through time, effectively the Congress told the private sector, you take the ball and run with it. You, you do the investments in agriculture research, build the cost of the research into the price of the inputs that farmers buy from you that embodies that research, and we'll, uh, in today's world, with American farmers earning about as much as people in the rest of the economy, uh, we'll ask farmers uh, to pay more for the, more of the cost of the research rather than the general United States taxpayer. But what that often ignores is the fact that the greatest beneficiaries of public support for agriculture research historically have been consumers. Consumers who were able to get their food supply at significantly lower cost. This freed up more of their income to spend on other goods produced in the economy, accelerating economic growth in the rest of the economic system in the United States. And that was not a trivial uh, c contribution of our agriculture research investment. The American public got a really good re return on that investment.